This is our brand new 2024 Alliance Avenue All Access 29RL. And today I wanna to give you a complete tour of the inside and the outside, and we're starting right now. Welcome back everyone. If you're new to our channel, I'm so glad you stopped by. My name's Patrick and me and my wife Patty have been RVing now for over 20 years. And this is RV number 12. We've owned everything from a 13 foot teardrop all the way up to a 35 foot fifth wheel. And just recently we purchased this brand new 2024 Alliance Avenue All Access Series 29RL. We purchased our RV up at King's Campers in Wausau, Wisconsin. If you are looking for an honest dealership that is straightforward, doesn't play games, is just really good people, look them up on their website. Ask for Shelby. Shelby will take care of you and know we get no kickback, so don't worry about that. Just we'll always like to share when we have a good experience. Now, we upgraded after just one year in our 2023 Alliance Avenue All Access 22 ml and the reason we upgrade it is because we wanted something a little bit larger so that we can go full time for a couple years in our rv and we think this is going to be the perfect rv for doing just that so i wanted today just give you a walkthrough of this because when i was researching this particular floor plan there weren't a whole lot of videos out there and i thought well maybe it's time to do one where you can see exactly how we have loaded our RV and give you a better idea on storage and space and things like that. Now, most RV tours start on the outside, but Patty always hates that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one started on the inside. And then once we're done with that, I'll come back outside and show you some of the great features on the outside of it. So come on, let's go inside and we will get this tour started. So welcome to our brand new home on wheels. Now we absolutely fell in love with this RV when we saw the videos online. We actually bought this site unseen. We had never been in this floor plan, but we knew it was just gonna be right for us. And so I'm gonna show you around in here. But before I do that, I wanna say hi to my wife, Hello. Patty. Hey Patty. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so Patty, what's your first thoughts on this? Oh, I love this. I like the other one. Thought I was in love with the other one, but I'm really in love with this one. And just real quickly, what is it about this that is so much better than our 22 ml? I think it is all of this space that we have now, especially for these guys. And um, basically the bedroom's the same, but all this living room space, the fireplace, it's just beautiful in here. All right, well, let's get right into it and start showing what we're talking about. All right. So as soon as you walk in, the first thing you're going to notice is all of these windows. Now, if you're a person that likes to hang pictures and artwork in your living room, this is not going to be the floor plan for you because, quite frankly, Alliance has used every square inch that they possibly can to put in windows. And we love these windows along the side, these big windows, because when you open them up, you get such great airflow in your RV. And so they put two of those side by side. Now, when we first walk in, we have our dining area. And I think this is really inventive of them. So what they've done is they went with a table that does not have post. It's mounted to the wall so you can get your knees in with no issues at all. On one side, what they've done is they have went with a bench. But it's not just any bench. This bench can be moved out so you can move it around your RV for additional space if you want to take it over to the living room. And it opens up and actually has a ton of storage space right inside. So I thought that was really creative. So you have like half dinette or booth, I should say, and half table and chairs. And so right over here, we have two chairs. We, these just fasten in with straps for travel. And then these open up. They don't give you a ton of storage space, but any of you who have RV'd before know that every little nook and cranny can be used for storage. And so this is our dining area. We love the way it opens up on the patio side so we can sit and have lunch or dinner, look out and enjoy our campsite. Just past that is our theater seating. Now, this is what we had in our 22 ml. And I can tell you, these things are very comfortable. We absolutely love them. They That's are awesome. manual. Yes. Yeah. So you just pull yep. and they pop out. As you can see, the pups love them too. Yeah. This was kind of their <laughs> space. It's one of the reasons we knew we needed a bigger space. There's also some storage right here in the center. Yeah, because they kind of took this over as theirs, honey. 
couple cup holders. <laughs> now, what you're not going to get in these is you're not going to get all the electronics with the heat and the vibration. Mm -hmm. But what you do get that we found with one year on our 22M out is a very comfortable seating space that held up very, very well. Again, you'll notice I want to point out this lighting over here above your table. That is on its own switch. But that's not all the lighting. Over here above the seating area, we have residential can lighting. I love this about Alliance. They use these throughout the RV. Really gives it more of a home feeling. And these are on a dimmer switch where you just touch and hold and they will go dim and they will go bright. And we can just bring them right on back down. Hopefully, there it goes. Time. Yeah. They take a little time. And then to turn them off, you just touch again. Yep, you just so, moving to the back of the RV. Which is awesome. So, yeah, <laughs> because now we actually get our own place to set. Uh -huh. So, we have this three person sofa sleeper. Isn't it this beautiful? is a tri fold. We yep. haven't actually folded it out. No, we haven't yet. But you can see that when you would fold this out, it would make a nice size sleeping area for two adults. Also, on each side of the couch, mm -hmm. we have these end tables built in. But With, voila. look at the storage. More storage. And unlike other manufacturers who put a door in the front, Alliance just goes ahead and puts it on the top, much yeah. easier to get to. We do have an outlet with USBs right down there, and we have those on each side yep. of Over this here. couch. And yep. I don't know why, I just like having you know, these end tables on the side because we can display things like our RV Destinations <laughs> magazine. Yes. If you're looking for a place to RV and you don't know where to Check go. Check them out. That's right. We'll leave a link down below for this video description mm -hmm. where you can save 20% on any subscription. It comes out four times a year and it's basically all just locations to take our RV. We absolutely love it. And one thing I really like back here are these sconces. They're just like a fabric here, real soft. And then you just have a little switch right there. And I think it just gives it that homey feel, don't you? Honey? It does. The other thing I should point out is Alliance uses roller shades throughout. And in this particular model, they have used kind of this tan color. I like it. I believe in our 22 ml. They were black. They were black. Mm -hmm. and, in, and this just makes, again, much more of a homey feel. It's like a softer look to it. Yeah. yeah. We still have the boxes up above, which, which is I pretty like. traditional. Mm -hmm. Now, up above your sofa, we have, again, tons Bam of storage. Yeah, look at that. And this goes all the way through. It's unobstructed. Yep. And there's more down here also. We don't have hardly anything in no, there yet. No, we, 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 we're <laughs> sure still, we'll we've some. only been in this for a week. So yeah. we're still trying to get organized. Yeah. And again, same way over here, this will lift up. We have the outlet with the USBs down below. Mm -hmm. And just again, notice all these windows in the back of the RV. So much natural Love light. Love it. Not a lot of space for those pictures, no. but definitely lots of natural light. And look at this TV, hon. Yeah, so this is your second slide, and this is really the magic of opposing slides. Opposing magic. meaning we have a slide on each side. Yeah. Really opens it up. Now, the slide out for the dinette and the theater seating is a deep slide. I believe it's about 36 inches. This is a shallower slide, but it still really opens it up. So we're going to start right up top here with, again, more oh, storage. storage. And this is one big space coming across. Yes. The one thing I will say that I've noticed already is... It doesn't seem to be supported. Yeah, this one's really kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know if that'll show up. We but might need a little support. So I think we're going to need to brace this. Now, Alliance prides themselves on uh, supporting like all their drawers to hold up to 90 mm -hmm. pounds. I'm not sure why they didn't support this one, but that's an easy fix. Yep. Right below all that storage, we have a big 50-inch Jensen and it looks TV. Huge. I know, it's massive <laughs> in here. Right and behind. More storage. More storage. Check it out. And we already have a little bit over here. Yep, just a little bit. We're trying to figure out everything, but yeah, look at that. Now, this is a 110 TV, which means if you're off of shore power, your TV's not going to work, so you would need like an inverter in order to run it. Below that, they use the Furion sound bar. And I think for me, this is in a better location than the other trailer because the other one was hard to read. Yeah, in the 22ML, the sound bar was up top Real and high. you couldn't see it when you were setting in the hard theater to know seat. What you're doing. And then right below it, we have the fireplace. Ah. Now, not only is this for looks, but it does provide heat. We've been using it. It's Indiana, it's May, and so it's been chilly in the mornings. We turn that on, takes the chill off. It has been great and don't you like it guys don't you think it's good they Indeed. seem to be at home already <laughs> 
Now we're going to move back into our kitchen. All right. And so here in the kitchen, we will start with some cabinetry right up here. We have identical cabinetry on both sides of the microwave. And what's cool about these cabinets, honey, is they're soft close. Yeah, that's an upgrade from our 22 ML. Mm -hmm. They went back to the soft close. Here we have the residential microwave. Mm -hmm. More importantly, ours came with a convection microwave. Dun, dun, and dun. so this is the insignia that we had in the other trailer, but in the 22 ml it was just a microwave, awesome. which we love. Yeah. Um, but this one actually has the convection. Right below that, we're going to have a window back here uh, if you want to get some light on your yep. uh, off patio side. But we have the Fury. No, I'm sorry. This is the, I believe, the, the Greystone. The Greystone. Greystone. Yeah. Three burner propane stove, mm -hmm. as well as an oven. Yep. Now, our friend Bobby yes. or Robert from. Would he say this is a nugget? No, I think he would turkey? say this is a chicken. I don't know oh, that it's a turkey yeah. oven, but I think he would say it's a chicken <laughs> oven. You could probably bake a chicken in there. And then this is another thing I just love about Alliance. It makes they it look go so ahead. Residential. Yeah. Big pot and pan drawer, but they. Put this front on to make it look like a residential so nice. oven. It's not. Yeah. Now over here, we're another gonna have big another big drawer. You can see how deep that wow. is. And I always think it's good to show stuff in the drawers because you get a better sense. Right below it, another we have another big space that we're not totally using up yet. No, not even close. <laughs> and those are nice and deep, go all the way back. Yep. And then we're gonna have the same thing on the other side. Look at that. And you can see so far we are underutilizing. <laughs> All of this space. I think it looks like shoe storage, huh? <laughs> right? That could be. Right beside of that is going to be your 12 Cricket. volt refrigerator. This is yes. the Furion. Again, we've had this one before in our other yep. alliance. Just like it. You know, for really full time well. living, would we like a bigger refrigerator? Well, Probably. Sure. But is it doable? Yeah. yeah absolutely. And Look you can see we have a lot of food there. in here. Yeah, it's full yep. pretty much. Right around the corner nice. is our pantry. And there's a light. Yeah, I think that was one of the smartest things they did was putting that light in there and because cool. our old one didn't yeah, have it. Yeah, and you can move the shelves, right, hon? Yeah, these shelves are adjustable. We haven't done it yet. They need to be reorganized yeah, and adjusted. A bit. We just kind of jammed some stuff in yeah. there. For Get one going. week, though, I'd say we've got it pretty, pretty well. livable. Yeah. And then here we have the kitchen Beautiful. island. Now, in the kitchen, they use solid surface countertops, which is another reason we absolutely love Alliance. They did put an outlet here. We have our Waggle. Yep. For those of you not familiar with Waggle, if you own a pet, this is peace of mind. What it will do is if your RV loses power, it will send you a text or an email, however you set it up, to let you know. Or if the temperature either gets too low or too high and you set those limits, it will alert you. And so we, this is actually the perfect place for the Waggle because it will give us a true sense of the temperature of the RV. It's not on an exterior wall that could be right. affected by sun or, or wind or well, things like that. Well, this living space is so huge that we can put their kennel up completely. Yeah, I know, and we don't have to take it down every time. We don't have time. to take it up and down, and so it works perfect. So in this kitchen island, we have the big, deep Which I love. kitchen sink. Dang, nice. I think they call that like a farmhouse sink. Nice. We have a real nice metal yes. sprayer, and this is definitely an upgrade from I the one we had nice. in the 22 ml. It's nicer than the cabin. Yeah, it's actually nicer <laughs> than our home. Yeah. We have three drawers over here. The top drawer we're using for silverware. Yep. And again, soft close. Yes. Uh, the second one is a little bit longer, I believe. A little bit. Well, let's look. Uh, not... Yeah, yes. yeah, I thought so. Works great for things like... You the know. bags that we need and the kind of wraps. And then this bottom one it's is super empty. deep. And again, it's pretty <laughs> empty. Hello. <laughs> but this might be my favorite part. We can have a real trash can. Yeah, for the first time... We can actually have a real, look how deep it is in there. Holy cow. We use that little tub in the sink since it's a one basin sink um, just to save water. And yep. it's just easier for me. And then, yeah, there's lots of room in but there. But this might be the best part. <laughs> now, you do have to buy your own trash can. And yeah. trust me, it's cheaper than the manufacturer giving you one. But that's an actual kitchen trash can like we would have in our home. And that is so nice. And the lighting up here, hon, I just, that's one of the things when we saw it, I'm like, that is awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. I, I agree. It just, again, gives it a home. And right above you, Patty, is the Max Air Fan right. that it comes with. This is a four-speed one-way. Now, we will be replacing this immediately with the Max Air Fan Deluxe, 
We're huge fans of Max Air Fan Deluxe because they're thermostat controlled. That way, if the power would go out, uh, the puppies are in here, they lose we AC, it will kick on and yep. at least give some airflow till we can get back. And it has built-in rain protection so we can keep it open when it's raining yes. outside. Yes. Also, right behind you, Patty, if you yep. show them the AC, this RV has two ACs. They are both 13.5. This one is ducted throughout the entire nice. RV. Love it. It is quiet. And I also like that there aren't vents on the floor. Yes, none of the heating or, is... The, or anything. Yeah, the heat is ducted too. Yeah, right? and, but not on the floor. It, they've put them in places in along the wall. In different places, yeah. Over here beside of our pantry, they call it a coffee bar, so we're using it as a coffee bar. But again, look at the storage here. We had not even touched it. <laughs> no, and part of that is because it's so it's tall. So we, we probably there. need a step stool yep. to get to it. That would probably be placed for things we don't use a ton of yet. Yeah. And then right here we have this nice little nice shelf. Nice, with the backlighting. And the USB port the right USB. over here. So if you wanted to throw your phone up there Absolutely. and charge. And then right down here, again, solid surface. Yep. We have two drawers. Yep. Oops. Whoa. Oopsie. That's this my, is for your bourbon. That's my bourbon drawer. This is like the miscellaneous kind of drawer. Tools and yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm. Down below. More bourbon okay. and storage of other things. And this one is not storage. Nope. This is going to be your electrical panel. I like how it's hidden yep. in here. That way you it's don't... kind of tucked yeah, away. Yeah, it's nice. And then let me show you a bonus feature. Well, we haven't used it yet. We haven't I used it yet. a little yet. leery. The pups are a little leery about this, and it needs cleaned a little bit on the... It's a Lazy Susan yeah. dog dish. I think uh, we'll try it, get it cleaned out, and just put some water in there and see if they come over and take a yep. little and just sippy keep, sip. Keeps it right yeah, back and like then we that. Can get, yeah. Locks into place. Yeah. So Alliance has thought of everything, everything when it comes to your pets. Now, we'll move around to Well, and there's the shoe storage area. like we had before under the step. Yeah. Yep. Right here is where kind of Command Central is. And one of the things I like that Alliance does is they did not go with the electronic control systems like in Command. They still use the rocker switches, which I guess I'm old fashioned. I'm I like these. With, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we can control our slides from here, our awnings from here, lots of lighting options, our water pump. This RV also has tank heaters. So if you want to use it in those colder months, you'll be able to do that. Right above this control panel, here is our thermostat for the main AC and, and the furnace. that's new for us how to use that. Yep, that's a newer, We're updated one. Out. Like it. Yep. This is the controller for that Max Air. Yep. This will actually come out, and then we'll have the remote right here. And then this is the dimmer switch for all of these overhead okay. lights yep. in the main living room. And I can shut those off. I can dim them, that type of thing. And you've used your label maker already because we want to make sure which slide is what and yeah. which awning is what because we have two awnings and, yeah. Didn't want to like hit the wrong button. <laughs> so coming up the stairs, and this is where this RV is very similar to our 22 ML. For the most part, the bathroom and the bedroom are identical, except in the 22 ML, the stairway was on the other side of the rig, which meant when the slide outs were in, you could not get to your bedroom or bathroom. With this one, we can come in, use the bathroom if we're traveling yes. or use the bed without nice. putting out any slides. I should note though, when the two slides in the living room are out, we can't get to the refrigerator. You cannot get there. You can get to the freezer because it's up top. If you wanted to get something out of the freezer, yeah, you like want a popsicle, popsicle or something, you can, <laughs> yeah. or ice cream while you're traveling. So I'm going to go ahead and the shower door is cool in this one. So this is one of those squeegee shower doors. This is different. Ours had the glass doors. I already actually like this one because it will clean itself. Which I like. And here Look we have you. plenty of headroom because they put the skylight yes. over the top. I'm about five foot ten, so it gives you some idea. Nice. Nice. Now Very we did. Cha we we yeah. changed out the shower head. We, we always, always have our oxygenetics. Yeah. We love that. And you can see it just simply closes. Bye. Nice and opaque, and so you I don't like have to worry about privacy. In there, yeah. yeah. And then we just open that back up. Nice. They came have with this, these hooks. Yeah, yep. it came with this. So it has this little shelf, Cute. these three hooks for towels. Yep. Um, they allow you to decide where to put your toilet paper holder. We chose right here. Yep. We yep. have the foot flush toilet. Nice. This is porcelain. Totally different okay. a little bit. And it comes, this is the Thetford, and it comes with the soft clothes. Nice. Okay, so you don't have to change that out. We like the soft clothes. Yep. It works really nice. Over here, we have lots of storage just again. Just like the other one. Just like the other one. The only thing I wish, I mean, we have to just get some kind of puck light or something to have a little light in there. And the other yep. one didn't have light either. But look how deep they are. We got all this stuff. Yeah. 
Perfect. And again, soft close in here. Yep. Now, they also give you this towel rack, which they allow you to decide where to put. We put it over here. Mm -hmm. We did go a little high because we keep like our electric toothbrushes, things like that. The one thing they do not do in the all access series, and I wish they did, mm -hmm. they do not use solid surface countertops, but that is an actual metal sink. Just got to be careful not get a lot of water sitting on there and making sure we protect like always. And we have a big medicine cabinet yep. right up here. Nice. Just like before. And then over here is your outlet, right, honey? Yep. We put our little picture there. And then down below, again, lots, lots of, storage. of storage. And the other one had just the same amount. It was just as nice. Yep. And if you're worried about privacy, don't worry. Yep. There's we have door. a pocket sliding door. And it's like a little barn door. How cute. Yep. Yep. Little hallway. Now, one of the things I do not like about <laughs> this bedroom is the fact that this is as far as the door can come open. So you kind of have to come in at an angle, yeah, and this is my side different. of the bed. Yeah. Our options would be to remove this door and maybe put up like a, uh, a curtain or We've something. Done that before. We've talked about that. We haven't done anything yet. It is on a magnetic. That's what it is to yep. help protect it there. Yep. So yeah. it just kind of comes back that mm -hmm. way. It doesn't hit and do any damage. One of the reasons we love the Alliance fifth wheel over other brands is in the bedroom, there is no step up. Yep. This is flat all the way across yes, and they is. use zero carpeting. Which we love because of the puppies. Yep. This helps keep it clean and it's just easier with them. Now so. we have the second AC, which I yep. highly recommend on these because it just really helps to keep the whole unit uh, cold. This is the thermostat for this particular one, and it is not ducted. It's just for this area. Right. We also have that same touch dimmer switch yep. for the overhead residential can lights. But notice it is ducted from the main AC back here. So you can potentially keep it cool back here without running and the second AC. we did that before with the other one. So. Right up here is a backer plate for a TV <laughs> if you want one and all the outlets. We covered it with this uh, Beautiful painting, painting that we had mm -hmm. in the old RV. It was out in the living room. We didn't have room, and we said, let's put it in the bedroom because we absolutely love yes. it. Um, on this side of the bed, and th you're going to notice the, the bed is a little off center per se. So on this side, you have a bigger cabinet. Yep. Real nice deep. and deep. Yep. And then below it, you're going to have a larger nightstand with a small pullout drawer. Yep. And back there, you have what USBs and outlets and whatnot. Yep. And that includes both USB A and USB C. And there is a, uh, I believe that's like a TV or satellite yes. hookup back right. there. Um, up above, just again, like the other one, but this time they have the struts came struts with on it them to keep them open for us. But all this storage up here, and it's all open all the way through. So nice. And then on my side, there's another little cabinet here. It's deep for my things, and then I have the same shelf over here with all the ports back there, chargers and whatnot. And then I have an area down here where I can store different things. So, yeah. And it's just a little narrower on your side yeah. of the bed, which is flipped shimmy. from our other mm -hmm. one before I was on the narrower right. side. Now, as far as places for your clothes, we have this big closet area. Those magnets are so tough. They, they, and, and that's what you want. You don't want this coming on. And we oh, added yeah. a puck light, but which, I think it has some issues. I think but, the batteries might be dead. Yeah, but look at that space. We so nice hanging use. space, or if you didn't want hanging space, you could probably put in a shelf and use that. And then we have three really, really deep, deep drawers. Yes, really nice. Yep. And again, the windows in here and the nice roller shades are just super nice. Now that I've shown you the inside of the RV, let's head outside and take a look at it. Now, before we start the outside tour, let's talk a few numbers. Now, this RV is advertised at coming in at just under 33 feet. Now, when you hear the word all access series, most people assume that's like a half ton towable RV. But Alliance has made it very clear that they're not insinuating that the all access series is half ton towable. Now there might be a half ton truck out there that could handle this RV, but the truth is we use a three quarter ton truck to haul it and I would highly recommend that. Why do I say that? Well, for starters, the advertised pin weight is around 1550 on this RV and that can vary depending upon how you load it. It's rated for right under 12,000 pounds of total weight. And ours 
according to the sticker, comes in at around 9,500 pounds. So that's gonna leave us about 2,300 pounds to load this up. Now, we've only had this for a week and I haven't had a chance to take it to the cat scale, but we have an upcoming trip and I plan on weighing it and finding out exactly where we are with the trailer fully loaded and where we're at with our vehicle. But I know that with our three quarter ton Chevy Silverado 2500 HD gas version that we're gonna be fine. So what does the all access series actually mean then? What Alliance says is that their all access series is really meant to imply that they're small enough that you're still gonna have access to places like state parks and national parks. And this is, as far as I'm aware, currently the largest in the all access series. Our 22 ml came in right around 27 feet and this one like I said comes in just under 33 feet and we do feel like there's still going to be state parks and some national parks where we can take this RV if we want to and yet still have all the comforts of home. Now Alliance uses a painted front cap uh, which is supposed to be more durable going down the road if you have uh, stones and things like that flying up. Now I will say the actual graphics are not painted. Those are actually an adhesive. And on our last one, we did have a little bit of peeling on that. So I'll be curious to see if they've updated those graphics to prevent that. Now coming right up here, they do use the Kurt Rotoflex. And again, we had no issues with that on our last one. And like most fifth wheels, we're going to have a big storage compartment right up here in the front and that is going to house our batteries. Now we have upgraded our batteries to 600 amp hours, a Litei lithium battery. These were the same batteries that we had in our last one. And this particular unit came with 350 watts of solar up on top and they use a Renogy Rover solar charge controller. Uh, right up here, we have a switch for our docking lights. That way, if you're trying to hitch or unhitch at night, you can turn those on. This is the vent if you're using a traditional lead acid battery. Here is your landing gear. I have not had a chance to install our snap pads, but I do have them and those will go on. Now, speaking of the landing gear, let's come right around to this side. And right in this compartment is where you're gonna find your auto leveling system. Now, up until our last RV, I had never had an auto leveling system. This is the Lippert auto leveling system. And honestly, it worked great. And it's kind of spoiled us, to be honest. So that is right there. And then on each side, you're going to have a 30 pound propane tank. So we would have 60 pounds in total. We also have installed our gas stop safety valves which we absolutely love if you followed our channel you know we're big fans of gas stop and we use their safety valves on all of our rvs now right over here we've got one side of our big pass-through storage now this side is a little narrower because you'll see this is where your water system is this is that nautilus water system where you can control everything right from here I also like that all three of your valves to empty your gray, your two gray tanks and your black tanks are right here. Your black flush is right there. You can control your water pump from out here. So like if you're winterizing, that's really nice. They do include a 110 as well as uh, auto motion light that can come on. There's also auto motion lights right up here. So that way, as soon as you open it, the lights come on and you can see. What I really like on this that they've added that we did not have on our last alliance is we can control slide outs from outside so this one will control this slide out and that way if i'm hooking up at a campsite like this one where i'm a little close to the electric post i don't have to worry if i'm inside putting it out whether i'm going to hit some i can actually do that right from in here and that's a real nice feature here is our suburban furnace and the Suburban tankless water heater, which we have never had before and are absolutely loving. On this particular model, unlike our 22 ML, we have a single uh, hookup for the sewer. Now on the 22 ML, our gray tank for the kitchen was clear in the back and so you had to move your hoses back and forth. This you hook up one spot and you are good to go. Now this is that kitchen slide. It's a little bit narrower which actually works out really well here at Happy Acres on our seasonal site because of the placement of the electric box. 
Let's take a quick closer look at the tires. You can see these are a 225 75R 15 inch. And I have to say thank you Alliance for using Goodyear Endurance tires. We have been very happy with them on our former trailer and it just provides a lot of peace of mind. The other thing is on this trailer, just like our 22 ML, they are using this CRE 3000 suspension system. Um, and it honestly, it tows really well, just like our 22 ML did. Coming on around. I absolutely love the graphics that they went to on this particular unit. Right here is that rear hitch um, that was also on our 22 ML. I don't remember the exact towing, but I think we can find it right here. And I will pause right there so you can see that. We have a port. Now there was a port over in the Nautilus system with both hot and cold water. This port is just for cold water. So if you wanted to water plants or uh, rinse off outside, maybe if you were at the beach, that's, that's kind of nice to have that second port. And then Alliance also has these really nice ladders, nice and sturdy to get you up and off the roof safely. You probably notice when we open this video that this particular RV has two awnings. So we have an awning coming off of the slide where our theater seats and our dining room are. And then we also have an awning coming off the main part of the RV. And because they didn't have a lot of room here to put a huge awning, they've just done two. So you really lose nothing by having the opposing slide over here. It still gives us plenty of covered space. One of the things that I really appreciate that Alliance did on this model is they added a 110 outlet out here on the side of the RV. In our 22 ML, we had no outdoor outlet. Uh, we have the big grab handle here. I like this style. Now some RVs are coming with those extender handles, but we've always liked this style of handle. I will tell you, this came with a traditional lock. We've already changed it out to this um, keyless entry. And finally, we have these step above sturdy steps. Honestly, these are as good of steps as you can get in my opinion. They're super sturdy. We had them on the last one and we really like them. As we come over here, this is where we're going to find the other part of our pass-through storage. And you can see over to that other side where we were when we started this outdoor tour. On this side though, we have hookups in case you do want to hook up a TV outside. We've got power, we've got cable satellite, but more importantly, we have those switches for the two awnings and this slide out over here. So again, we can put all of this out right here from the outdoor storage. Uh, there's the other side of that uh, motion sensor light that will come on. And you can see there's pretty good space inside of here for storage. Here is the other propane tank that I told you about. There is also a quick connect right below under here for propane. So if you want to hook up like a grill or a griddle or whatever to propane, you can do that just by using that quick connect. Thank you so much for staying with me and going through our complete tour of our brand new Alliance Avenue 29RL. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those down below in the comments section and I'll try to answer as many as I possibly can. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. <laughs> Bye. Travels with Lady. We'll see you on down the road.